YouTube is suspending channels for their thumbnails now. We've seen two suspensions, this channel and this channel that were recently YPP suspended, which means demonetized. You can't make any money on YouTube because of the thumbnails. Now, we'll go into details. This thumbnail looks a little scary to me, and these are looking gloomy, but I believe they are still fine. So let me show you the details. YouTube said, as of January 15th, unrelated or missing thumbnail images designed to increase views as the reason for the YPP suspension for Ruta del Silencio, which is the second channel you just saw. To be clear, they said the channel is out of compliance due to these thumbnails designed to increase views. Now let's see what they mean by misleading or racy thumbnails. This is the link that it takes you to. Metadata refers to any and all additional information on a video like titles, tags, descriptions, and thumbnails. The reason we have metadata is so you can add additional contextual information about your videos. Please do not use these features to game or trick our search algorithms. That means don't put tags into your description. Don't repeat keywords in your description thinking that will get you more views. What it'll get you is a YPP suspension or it'll at best just lower your video in the search results when YouTube detects that you're gaming the system. No tag stuffing, guys. It's not worth it. It has the opposite effect of what you would think. All metadata, sh metadata should be representative of the content contained in your video. Okay, so this is the key. Uh, you know, select a reasonable number of tags, use only tags in the tag section, not the video description of the video. And adding additional tags to the description of your video may constitute spam and can result in the removal of your video and the YPP suspension of your channel. All right, let's take a look at these channels in more detail. This was the Indonesian channel that has news videos. Now it's in Indonesian, so you won't be able to understand it unless you happen to speak Indonesian. Um, but in my opinion, these thumbnails are relevant. Each video is, the thumbnail is talking about this person or about that object or about this animal. So I think they're relevant and we did argue the point. Let me show you our, um, our response. Uh, we said, we carefully reviewed this channel and feel the thumbnails are appropriate for the content. This is us challenging YouTube's suspension, asking them to re-review based on our uh, feedback. So, oh, and this is, some thumbnails are gloomy, but those are very relevant to the videos which explore spooky areas at night. So this was the uh, argument we made on behalf of this channel, Ruta del Silencio, which was also YPP suspended for uh, thumbnails. And as I said, this one thumbnail, I would change right away. Like, how is that relevant? There's no text. It's just a big eyeball staring at me. Uh, yeah, that's, in my opinion, a bad thumbnail and uh, the channel owner should replace it. But these other ones, I believe, are appropriate for the content because let me show you this video here, this Una Experienza Terrorifica. Here's the video. Let me play a clip. Las pilas se cayeron. No las encontraba, pero encendí la linterna de mi celular y pude That's hallarlas en, en el piso. Las coloqué nuevamente y otra vez subí muy rápido las escaleras. So he's basically exploring a spooky house. And the thumbnail is, well, I mean, it's a spooky cat, but I don't believe it's crossing the line. So again, we argued the point for this channel that we honestly believe the thumbnails are good and not misleading, designed to increase views. Given this context, can we request a second review, human review, by the internal YouTube team? And so we'll see what they say. I'm still waiting for their response, and I'll update you in the next video based on that. But guys, what do you think about this new emphasis on thumbnails? These two particular channels, I'm sure there will be other channels we have not heard of. These are the channels in our network that were affected. And uh, we have 3,000 channels in Freedom, and there's probably a billion channels on YouTube. So it's going to be a lot more than just our two channels that experienced this. Have you experienced this? Do you have friends that were suspended due to their thumbnails? Share down there in the comments below your experiences so we can all help each other grow together and better understand YouTube's rules about thumbnails. Now, YouTube did publish some new rules recently, and I will show them to you right here, that there is an announcement that this, of strengthening the enforcement of our community guidelines, where they do talk about custom thumbnails, that all custom images must follow our community gui guidelines, and selecting thumbnails uh, that violate them um, 
can now result in community guideline strikes. But they don't talk about YPP suspensions as a punishment, just strikes. Even if the video does not violate the policies, uh, the thumbnail can now get you a community guideline strike. And the other key point, which we haven't discussed, and I'll discuss in future videos, but since it's here, let's just talk about it, external links. All external sites you link to have to follow YouTube's community guidelines. Do not link to gambling sites or pornography or direct downloads for piracy because by doing so, you're now violating this new strong strengthening of enforcement uh, where you can get strikes just for linking to sites that are against YouTube's policies. And the other important one which you may not be aware of is uh, here about dangerous challenges or pranks. Look. Even if the victims believe they're in physical danger, but they never actually are, that's enough to uh, trigger this policy and give you a strike. Meaning you can't make people think they're going to get hurt, even though afterwards you'll say, oh yeah, there was never a chance, look like the gun was a toy or something like that. You know, that itself can now get you strikes. So that's for all you prank channels out there. <laughs> Just make sure your pranks are safe and and don't cause any uh, belief in danger, as well as never cause children to experience emotional distress of any kind. But I think this is common sense, guys. You obviously, you know, treat kids like they are their own, are your own, right? You don't want your own kids to just be scared witless. Um, so the important thing is because this is a new action that YouTube is offering a grace period to allow time to review the updates and make changes to your content. I don't know how long this grace period will last, so if you're reading this or hearing about this for the first time, go to your channel, check all your channel's thumbnails, remove anything like this, <laughs> in my opinion, uh, and make sure that YouTube won't assume you are trying to game the system, where, where was their wording here, that the channel um, that they don't think that you're using misleading thumbnail images just to increase views. Like, don't show boobs in your video unless you're making videos about breastfeeding, all right? That's the idea. <laughs> um, okay, so what do you guys think about all this? Uh, tell me down there in the comments below. I'd love to hear your input. And regarding this whole KYC series, click that eye to see the playlist of all the videos I made about Know Your Channel. This is the 17th video, there's a lot but they all are important to keep your channel safe so you know your channel and you know what's allowed and what's not allowed. Hopefully that'll help you avoid a YPP suspension or a channel termination. And I also want to bring up this FAQ, the Custom Thumbnail Policy F Enforcement Update. And the question was, what is changing with how YouTube enforces custom thumbnail violations? And apparently nothing is changing, but now the result could be a community guideline strike or as we've discovered a YPP suspension and this link talks about an FAQ what is egregious what happens when will I lose my th custom thumbnail privileges and if you'd like to read this from the official YouTube help the link is down there in the description below all of the articles I'm featuring on this episode of the George show are linked down there in the description below as with every episode so just check them out if you want to read more and Remember Freedom's goal. We are here to help build your career in this digital world. We want to teach and educate you so that you have the best chance of success. That is our mission. Roll it. So I hope this episode taught you something. Are there other subjects you, or uh, you, <laughs> want me to cover? Ask me down there in the comments below. I read every comment and I make sure that I listen to you and I make videos based on what you tell me because this show is for you. I think it's all about our partners. We all help each other grow together as a family. That is the spirit of freedom and I as the Papa Freedom, the head of freedom, uh, certainly I follow that uh, spirit as well. So who am I? I just told you, I am your Papa George, your George Sanpa, your Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom family has given me. I am the CEO 
and founder of Freedom. And we just celebrated our fifth uh, birthday. Yeah, we are five years old on YouTube. Freedom launched December 1st, 2013. And we just passed December 1st, 2018, which was our fifth year in business, helping each other grow together as a family. Sorry if you're getting tired of that, but I'll keep saying it in every video because it is what we are, who we are. It's our culture. It's our purpose. And I hope all of you will grow together with us. Any suggestions on how to grow faster? Any criticisms on what we could be doing better? Share down there in the comments below or email us at support at freedom.tm. We have a happiness team. That's what we call our team of support agents whose job is to make you happy. So if you're not happy, tell me and I'll go spank the happiness team. Okay, kidding, but uh, I'll certainly bring it to their attention. So I hope uh, you are happy with our happiness team. I hope you are eager to grow in this shiny new 2019. I am bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I hope you are too. And I'll be making more videos soon. Until the next one, I am George and you've been watching. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.